all houses of worship and places where faith-based services are offered. These centers of faith are essential for enhancing the moral fabric of our, of, of our society and for strengthening opportunities for collaboration so that all may thrive together. Please let us know of any ways that we may be able to continue our solidarity in the coming days and weeks. And Michael Ramos, Ramos's sentiment is something that we have heard expressed from so many, from faith leaders and faith organizations, as well as elected leaders and our political allies as well. And with that, I want to acknowledge that we have representation here from the city of Miriam in particular. Uh, I believe we have the mayor along with city council members mayor is here, I'm sorry, no, okay, we don't have the mayor here, she does send her regrets, uh, but I know we have uh, Burien City Council members, and we will hear on behalf of the Burien City Council now. Hello, my name is Hugo Garcia, Council Member Hugo Garcia, that's H-E-G-O-G-A-R-C-I-A, Team and Bonas. I am uh, very sorry that this is what brought us together. Uh, it's scary times internationally, scary times locally, scary times so, uh, during this COVID recovery period. But at the same time, it inspires me to make sure that I am in solidarity, in community, and I'm present. I have seen certain uh, similar impacts like this four years ago uh, with the previous administration. There were attacks that inspired me to get involved. And I saw my neighbor, my Muslim neighbor, Teresa. She stepped up. She was at Know Your Rights workshops. She was at uh, Wazen meetings uh, to see the Washington Immigrant Solidarity Network come together and support our immigrant communities. I'm inspired by, by our mayor, Sophia Aragon. She, she also stepped up during the, the, the ACE, uh, Asian hate uh, attacks of last summer. And it's important for me to be immediately present to reinstate, reinstate to the community member that Fury has been, currently is, and will always be a welcoming city to our immigrants, refugees, and community members. That's why, uh, as an immigrant myself, I came here 30 years ago, I was fortunate enough to be able to still live here. And that's what inspired me to serve, to reach out for family, our Muslim community. Uh, this center is a place of community, of love, and we're going to make sure there's a pact to it that we immediately let people know it's not okay. And we're not going to just uh, let it happen and swing it. let people think that if you can do things like this in our city, it's not okay, and we're not going to stand for it. So it's important that our council members, our staff is here, from our city manager to the communications director, our chief of police, and to make sure that our Muslim community knows that the city of Bureau is grateful that they're part of our community and we're going to be supportive of them, with them, during good times of celebration and during these unfortunate times as well. But I just want to thank community members for their support, faith community, our, our youth, and just our neighbors, like Teresa and Council Sarah. Uh, thank you for being here. Stay diligent, stay involved, and together we'll definitely do what we're here to say, which is we stand with our Muslim neighbors. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Council Member Garcia. We absolutely stand with each other in solidarity, and we will again strengthen our bonds every time the haters may seek to divide us. We will.
actually have the opposite effect. Because that's what it's all about. And what I'm going to ask now is she allowed us to return, and allowed us to return and talk to us about specific actions that they can take to support that solidarity.
opportunity for this center to open its doors and for people, especially now with us getting hopefully past the pandemic, to take the opportunity to come and unite together and have those moments of celebration and solidarity as well that we so cherish and, and prefer over these kinds of instances. And maybe this is the way that we can actually get more of the community to learn that this center exists and for the youth of all faith backgrounds, all racial backgrounds, all ethnic backgrounds, to know that they have a safe place, that they can come here and benefit from this beautiful facility and the resources and services that it offers. And uh, what I want to finally close on is saying thank you to every single person that showed up, every single person that, uh, that wrote, that, that is expressing support and solidarity who couldn't be here, all the various moms, like Chick Russell, who's here from the Song Center of the East Side, uh, and our other community leaders. I'm so sorry that I'm not able to acknowledge everybody simply because there are so many. But we know that this support and solidarity and again our relationships are only going to grow over time. And we will take this as an opportunity to exactly do that, to continue to grow, to continue to strengthen, to continue to be a force of reckoning, a force of good that will repel the force of evil. That's what our faith teaches us. That's what our common moral values and humanity teaches us. That's what brings us here together to stand in solidarity and show and express that love and support to each other of all faith backgrounds. And with that, I want to finally have Reverend Terry Kylo, Executive Director of Path to Understanding, to close us out in prayer. But before I do that, I really want to emphasize that the support we've gotten has been from our Sikh siblings, as you heard, our Jewish siblings, our atheist siblings, our people of all faith backgrounds who are expressing the support and solidarity because, again, we fully understand that we are in this together and an attack on one really is an attack on all. And with that, I say thank you again to each and every single one of you. I also look forward to working with the city of Burien to get a resolution passed about this, about you know, making it clear that attacks on places of worship have no place here in our cities, in our county, or our state. And also to take other action, including the solidarity event that you heard Imam Yaka speaking about. We want to have a bigger opportunity to bring everybody together, stand in solidarity, emphasize our resilience and strength as a community, and really also have the opportunity to celebrate. And with that again, thank you so very much, and please let's have Reverend Sherry Cairo uh, close us out with the final words. My name is Terry Kylo. I'm the Executive Director of Paths to Understanding. My last name is spelled K-Y-L-L-L. -L -L. I left parish ministry about six years ago because I recognized that we in America have a choice. We're either going to stand together or we're going to fall apart. And so I began to stand with our American Muslim neighbors on behalf of the Christian community to help push back on the dehumanization that was taking place carefully constructed by hate groups that spend millions of dollars to dehumanize them and to foster acts of violence against them. And I have come to learn as I got to know my American Muslim neighbors, I've come to understand um, my own Christian belief system better. I've come to understand and engage with my Jewish neighbors that the core of the Abrahamic tradition is to be a blessing to all the families, nations, tribes, religions of that is not just a nice sentiment, that is actually a strategy. At a time when we are being torn apart by a false witness against each other, we can speak well of each other. In a time when we're tempted to think that we have to withdraw from each other because we're only hearing negative news, we can, in humility, offer the best we have to each other. For those two things are what blessing means. Genesis chapter 12, to speak well of and to offer our best to each other, because we will either stand together or we will fall apart, and right now we have a choice. Are we going to listen to all the false witness against all of us that we see, and through so much of the news sources and the social media that we see, or will we strive as we the people to work for a more perfect union? in which there is liberty and justice for all, in which people have the right to speak and to be heard, 
to worship or not worship as they are called. And with that, I would ask you to please pray with me. Creator and of, of all and divine source of all of our life, we ask you to recognize the beauty in each other and the beauty in ourselves, the wisdom in other wisdom traditions, and to go more deeply into the wisdom of our own, whatever that may be. I ask you to stand with the people of this community who are shaken and wondering if they have a place in this community. But I would ask you to remember to remind them of all the people from the governor's office and the county council's office and the city council and the mayor's office, the people who are part of public safety, all the members of this broader community who have come here today out of their own motivation to remind the people of this community that they stand with you, that they are with you, and that there is nothing in the world, there is no fearfulness that can drive us apart ultimately. Because I see us, gracious God, help us to, help us to make that choice to stand with each other and build a country of liberty and justice for all. And in your holy name we pray for